Yo, what up guys, GodzillaFan2 here, and today, welcome back to another video, and today we're playing The Terrible Old Man. As you can see, it says The Terrible Old Man, based on a short story by written by H.P. Lovecraft. So yeah, let's just begin, shall we? So Angelo, when were we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow, it's a few hours drive to Boston. It's pretty like old school time. How old, how long are we st how long are we staying there for? How long we? It should be how long are we staying there? Whatever. Oh, I say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. Is is this is this in Batman's time? That's right, I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. Xanic, whatever, why don't you get your past yet over there and give her... Your best line. This is a much not mature. This is like a friendly channel. Possibly when I grow, you know, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Heck. That woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her god forsaken dollars. Better old manual her spends in the hot hooch than it sitting there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. <laughs> it's fake. Dang right, man. Yeah. Well then, get us some beers, boys. Uh, okay. Left click to interact, right click to observe for attention settings. Okay. Okay. Uh. Barman. Three beers over here. We are. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of. None of your god dang business. Just give me some beers. Hey, it's. This is my bar. You want your manners, stranger? Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please. That'll be two dollars for a freaking friend. Alright, we got... What's up here? Oh, cash key. Oh, yeah, cash. Take it to the man. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel's dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear we set a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as a blink. The boy's been affected. You take him to Doc Reavers, he'll get to the bottom of it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. This, this is all about talkity talking. Well, here's only been acting strange since his running with the old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort. You see, him around town pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I've heard about him. Yeah. Fe feeble and ensign, I heard he talks to the bottles he has lied, lined up on the table inside of this house. Calls them names like Spanish, Joe, and Mate Ellis. Is it... Is... It... If he is speaking to the old crew. Yeah, most peculiar cat. Best of 
avoid him, I think. No need to upset old, old folk. Something you need to teach Dicky. A bit of respect. So what happens is was Dicky threw this stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to a bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. What the frick was that? <laughs> oh dear. But <laughs> you see, rewind, and you can see their faces like messing up. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through the old folks' window, and well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he doesn't not leave the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scared sight for a young lad of face. Fancy. That using gold coins for currents, the man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. Yeah. No, he's like, sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. By the way, this game is on Game Joe. Thanks. There you go. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. We'll spit it out. About. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in the town. So which he pays his... He pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck! Gold doubloons. Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich sealer old fart. <laughs> this sounds like a chinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Kirsty. Find out and when and we may find riches tonight. Alright. Say, fellas, what was that? You guys were saying about the old man around these parts. What is it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. It sounds like a character. Indeed, he is shuffles about with his cane dropping. Gold all over the show. Where does the old man live? Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast and crumbling... Ashton's pile is to one of the oldest houses in Kingsport's I've invented. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for... <coughs> uh, I'm okay, guys, I promise. A treasure hunter, are you? Eh, hey, kind of, yes. Get out of here, bum. We don't want to... Thieves sneaking up to our town. Yeah, get out of here before I get town guard. No, no, no. I mean, well, yes, I promptly treasures. Like every other man out there, I have no intention of robbing the old goat. Well then, why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Uh, let's see. We spent an entire view in the local paper. We are his long lost relatives. We found something that belongs to him and we want to return it. Um, we're from the tax department. He owns money. We are traveling sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, yes. What are you selling? Shoes. Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right now. You're wearing your socks? <laughs> That's a better way to address it. I got boxes of the map in my car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Cancer. Oh. I'm already dreaming of spending gold doubloons. What are you gonna buy? Oh, we need to talk to him again. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address? How do we know we can trust you? Okay, so we're not that. Wish to interview him for a local paper. Oh, yes, what's the man name of the local paper then? The Times. Wrong. 
You, sir, are a positive liar. Oh, cancer. Um. Yeah, we won't get it. Uh, I expect us to believe that you are clearly not. Okay, um. Paper. The telegraph. Um, you, sir, are a positive liar. All right, we're gonna try this one more time for the paper. Wrong. Okay, so we're not. Okay. Um, not as long as we found. What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look at that. Uh, it's out of my car. Bold us. Get out of here. Jesus Christ! What will make you believe me? We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Kid, and yourself. What's the things about Bottles? What else you know about him? You guys from Kingsport? About the old man's address. Um. Oh, no, no. Go back. Mm, about him. Ask questions. A lot of questions. Yes, leave us be. You said something about Bottles? Sometimes people see him through his window with a lineup of Curdley's bottle sitting on the table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside. Penner is some way, and he's been seen the chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind. Too much time at sea. He was a sea captain. Yes, through back in the time, nobody from blah, some of the bottles and the crew members. You from Kingsport? Morning, me too. Where are you from? Suburb bus. City boy, huh? Cosplay type? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. About his address. Okay, um... We are traveling so late. Oh, yes. What do you say? Shoes. Car. Hmm. Curtains. I don't want to look outside. Um... Come on, this is... Which one's the right one, then? Bull! Come on, this is absolute stupid. Go back. Later. Right. We found something that belongs in the old basement. Let's have a look at it. Er, it's on my car. Hmm. It's a picture. It has to be something. Picture. It has to be something I have to do. Huh. Here, guys, I will actually be right back. I don't know what to do right now, so I'm gonna look it up, alright? Yeah, bye. Okay, guys, I finally got the answer. Alright, so we get to the interview. We actually talked to this lady. We actually talked to the barmans first, and then we talked to the lady. So you can see it's actually Kingsport Daily Star. And then you'll see nonsense. It's the truth. Journalists from Boston. We do friendly work. It sounds like an old man could give us a great story. Imagine the ta tales he must have. Tales of exploring treasures and clothes. You know what? You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying. The old man lives in the War Street his the property back to his into a street. Alright, cool. Alright, let's head back. Got the address. Good work. Where is it? Back entrance in the ship street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Yeah, take the car. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Let's do this. Yeah! We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I need to edit this, of course. <sighs> Cancer. All right. We're all here. What's the plan, boss? Sylvia. Or, yeah, I think that's what you call it. You, you and I will go in through his gate. Cheekers, chank, chank, zank, 
Zack or whatever, I'm just gonna call him Zack. You stay to watch. Okay. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light on up there. Can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. Hmm. Let's see. Oh wait, don't we have binoculars? It pay dime. Huh. What about the trunk? Aha! Trunk. Chuck is locked. Oh. Now I know what I need. Does it fit? He's just for the ignition. Oh. Ain't time to leave. Oh boy! get rid of it uh well how do I it's locked by so many pad hmm I might need to edit this again oh street lamp well we could try climbing over using that street pole but the gate seems a more convincing choice uh too far away. I may have to freaking do another cut. Um, let's see. What's the code for the trunk? So here you go. You don't have the key for the trunk on, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you've lost the god dang thing. I don't know. What do you think about the space? What do you think about this? Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Boom! Don't need a cut. Yeah! Wait, hold on. Oh. Good. Robert always comes for spyglasses. Alright, cool. Spyglass. Or not. Well, here's the mask, guys. If you want them. It's not gonna stand out. Ugh, whatever. Alright, let's take a look. No, you're all good. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we're quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in the queer little pursuit path. To. You got our mask then? Oh yeah, I got it. I already got your mask, boy. I tried handing them to you, but no, you didn't accept them. Here you go. Here's the mask. Okay, get the gate open. Crowbar. Yep, I need the crowbar. There you go, guys. Ha, ah, we're in. Good work. Hi, right, Zach. Okay, Sylvia. Let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold even hidden. If he is as sino as we suspect, you may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do that we need to. The screams of an old man can barely use a muscle. Sylvia, you'll hit the nail on the head. Wait for us in the car. We should be back in the hour at the most. Sounds like a plan. Alright. I'll wait out here, guys. Remember, the getty. Gettle, whatever. Gettle. Frickin'. Oh, look, I caught it. 
Oh, I told you guys this thing doesn't have the. Uh oh, what the fuck? Dude, did you see that? Up by the window. One hour later, the dude was. The old man was getting. Oh, what the heck is taking them so long? Ooh. What happened? You better not have knocked the old fellow off. I told him, I told him, I said, don't go too hard on the old goat. And here they come. Is it the old man? Yep. <laughs> His face. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Uh oh, jump scare. Nope. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed, as with many cutlasses, and horribly mangled, as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. What the frick? And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries Probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring than the far off days of his unremembered youth. That and oh man, all right, guys. Um, I'm guessing check out the book since it's a story. I actually looked up the terrible old man to get the thumbnail <laughs> And I actually did see it was a book. So Yeah, I would recommend guys getting the book if you want. I mean, I may even get it But hope you all leave like comment subscribe. See you all next time. Peace out